time did a video on who makes whose uh, tractors. Uh, a lot of people telling me that you have to buy uh, U.S. Uh, branded uh, tractors like a John Deere or Case, uh, Massey Ferguson, etc. But what people don't realize is uh, that there's a very high odds the very smaller compact tractor, which could be anywhere from a 15 horse to clear up to 80 horsepower. A lot of these companies like Case and John Deere, they don't mess with uh, building these small tractors. Uh, that these are uh, foreign companies uh, that are already building these uh, tractors for themselves, and they just slap on different sheet metal and paint them different colors. Today we're going to be talking about the brand Iseki. A lot of you probably never heard of one, but there's high odds that you could have driven one or even owned one. Iseki is a Japanese company that started out in 1926. They started building their first tractors in 1961. Iseki built the tractors for Agco, Massey Ferguson, Bowlands, White, and Challenger. They built a lot of tractors for Massey Ferguson. Clip back to I found the uh, late 80s. Uh, they sort of being made by Iseki, and uh, and they're still making them today. Clear up and over 200 horsepower. Quite a few tractors that Iseki makes for the brands, like for instance my Bolin's G152. Um, on the grill of that tractor is stamped uh, Iseki. Um, I noticed all of whites uh, have a uh, stamp on the hood uh, Iseki and it makes it easy to know on who makes tractors but from what I've seen of Massey Ferguson it just says Massey Ferguson and there is a serial plate on the machine that actually says it is made by Iseki so Massey Ferguson can be a little bit harder to tell on who it's made by uh, I just found out that quite a few tractors, like a Massey Ferguson, it says made by Aiko, but then it seems like Iseki made it for Aiko. So then you still, although it says it's made by Aiko, you, you are still getting a Iseki tractor. The reason why I'm doing this video, I'm not wanting to make me mad by saying don't buy US brands, but if you want to buy a tractor, you can save yourself a lot of money because uh, you're paying mostly just for the brand name. You're just paying for the name of John Deere or Matthew Ferguson or whatever. You can uh, do some research and parts are very easily to get for these uh, foreign brands of tractors. I have this uh, Paul and Seki, which is really easy to get parts for. I also have a gray market Kubota tractor, which is really easy to get parts for too. And a lot of people see these brands like Iseki or Hinamoto or Mitsubishi and people look, are hesitant about them. They say, well, you know, I've never heard of that brand and it's just a cheap brand that's come up just to make a quick buck. But what people don't realize is just like the U.S. brands, they started back in the late 1800s or 1920s and they walk their way up so they are just as old as brands international or John Deere or anything. I have done up quite a bit of research and I was going to do a bunch of different tractor brands like Yanmore and Hinamoto and Mitsubishi and all of these foreign brands but I realized there's going to have way too many tractors and it's going to be way too long of a video so I thought to go ahead and just do one brand at a time I thought I'd start with Iseki because I've already done research into it for my own interest because I have this Bolins which is made by them. And it seems like these bigger US companies don't want to mess with building these small compact tractors and so they just let someone else handle it that's already been experienced with making these small tractors. So I'm going to play for you right quick a list of all of the tractor brands and models that Iseki has made and I know I am missing lots of models because I have done research to find that they make a lot more Massey Ferguson's than what I realized and like I said they're upward towards the 200 horsepower and the machines I found were up around 60 or so horsepower. So I'm not 100% sure on how many 
machines that Aseki built for Massey Ferguson or Challenger or any of those brands because the, it's a hard information to find. I guess that these big US companies don't want you to realize that you are buying a Japanese machine. But anyway, so here's a, a list of everything that I had found.
because there's many more that they are building that I do not have listed. But that kind of gives you an idea. I uh, recommend looking into other tractor brands if you are looking to buy a machine because uh, there's a lot of brands out there and they're starting to be more common here in the U.S. Like back in the day, Kubota was a brand everybody was hesitant about. No one knew anything about them. They were a Japanese company and everybody was skeptical of the quality. But as time has passed, everybody now loves Kubota and they are, I'd say, more popular than John Deere. And people really enjoy the machines. And those other brands out there like Kubota when they started, they're trying to get started in the U.S. They've been building machines in other countries for a long time and they just have not built a name here in the U.S. Uh, one brand is LS. There's uh, quite a few dealers around and no one's ever really heard much of them. But if you ever heard of a New Holland, then there's higher odds it was built by LS. They made the whole Boomer series plus many more. And just like all these other brands, LS is one that I'm skeptical of because no one's ever heard of them. But from what I have heard, they are a decent good machine. And they're a fraction the price of any US brand. And even a lot cheaper than Kubota. And so there's other brands out there too, like TYM. I believe they make a pretty good machine. And again, they're a lot cheaper. Iseki is one of the top three biggest Japanese tractor manufacturers and the Saki even is tied to Dunfan engines of China which is one of the third biggest companies building vehicles and they build Hondas and they build I believe Toyotas and they basically built all of these top Asian brand vehicles and they're tied with the engines that they build so again, Seki is not a small company. They have been building engines and stuff for a long, long time. The Bolins and tractor that I have, G152, and it actually has a Mitsubishi engine in it. Only a few models of Bolins that Seki made ran Mitsubishi. They all mainly ran Seki engines, with the exception of one other model, I believe ran a Detroit engine. The engine that I have in my Bolins is a two-cylinder and it is a very high compression. It runs between 450 to 500 PSI per cylinder and they are a loud engine. So it sounds like they have a bad knock but that's just the sound of the engine. And the way the two-cylinder engines are designed, they technically have more torque than the equivalent size of three-cylinder engine. And before I realized what the compression is of this engine, when I first got it, the battery was dead, so I wanted to just pull start it. And I actually cannot pull start this tractor because the back tires will just slide, it will not turn the engine over. Well, I guess that's going to do it here for this video. I'm going to do more of these videos on other brands, and next I might do Yan more, and I'll see on what all they built for John Deere. I know they have built a lot of machines, which I know by the 80s, Yan Moore had shipped to John Deere over 100,000 tractors to sell as their own. And I'm going to see on what all Yan Moore's tied with. Until then, I'd appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my channel. It would help me out a ton. I do the video every Tuesday and every Friday. And I do, I'm going to be doing a lot more work here in the shop. I check out my other videos. I've already got started on one project. I'm hoping to get more involved in that here in the next video. And like I said, be sure to like, subscribe, and always leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what information you know about these brands. I mean, have you had much experience with them? Was it good or bad? I'm, like I said, I'm not much sort of argument on any of this. This here is just some interesting information that I found and I like to share it and let everybody know. Maybe people can save money when they buy machinery. Until then, I appreciate you watching. Thank you.